Did that just happen? I'm Chris. This is the Everyman's Auto Video Car Diary. This is my diary. It's on video and we're in a car. I'm still not quite sure that what happened today actually happened. Um, I drove the 2012 uh, Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG Roadster. It's a car that base price is $196,100. The one I drove today was $248,095. So chump change. Just throw it in the bank. Quarter of a million dollars. It's got a hand-built 6.3-liter V8 that makes 563 horsepower, 479 foot-pounds of torque. Insane numbers. Just insane numbers. A crazy amount of power. This car is so expensive because it has all kinds of packages. It's the most expensive version of the 2012 Roadster in the U.S. Um, it has $12,750 in paint. $12,500 in carbon ceramic brakes, and over $9,000 of carbon fiber trim in the interior, plus another $5,400 of carbon fiber trim in the engine compartment. Uh, a couple hundred dollars in a car cover, $500 in a, in a steering wheel that's leather and Alcantara, I don't even care what it is. And then $6,400 in the Bang & Olufsen stereo, 1,000 watts. All of it's ridiculous. It, it's, it, the hand-built engine is amazing. Mr. T Squiggly Line, you did a fantastic job at building that engine. It's wonderful. It's got a carbon fiber drive shaft, which is awesome. It's got an AMG limited slip diff. All of those things are amazing. I can't tell you how amazing they are. The car doesn't feel fast, but it is. While you're in it, it feels very composed. Um, the, the front hood, or the front hood, the hood, feels uh, like it's about a quarter of a mile long and that it bends with the curvature of the earth. It, it's so long. But at the same time, I always felt in control of the car. There was never any time where I felt like, oh my gosh, I don't know where the car's gonna go or I'm gonna hit it or I can't tell where the tires are placed. I, I was fine with that. That wasn't an issue at all for me while I was driving. It, it's just a big car. When you open the hood though, you can open it to such an extreme, it looks like an alligator trying to swallow something whole. Um, such an amazing car, so much fun to drive. Uh, when you just blurp the accelerator and give it a little bit of gas, your speed will jump 20, 30, 40 miles an hour in, in fractions of a second kind of stuff. It, the torque just really throws you around the road. While I was driving, I was trying to figure out which country I would like to buy. Um, that felt like something I should be doing if I was going to drive one of these cars. So, so much fun. The, when you lift off the gas, you get the when you, you get lift off noise. You take your foot off the gas, and all of a sudden behind you, you hear the exhaust go. Blah, 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 blah. It, it sounded wonderful. I don't know that the camera equipment and sound equipment that I own is enough or, or is is good enough to record the sound of that car properly. I'm I'm almost positive that what I have recorded is not the way that my ears heard that car, because what I heard was like angels singing, and what you're going to hear is this. So, if that sounded like angels singing to you, then yeah, maybe my equipment's okay, but I, I still don't feel like I properly captured the sound of that car, and it'll be a while before I can afford way more expensive stuff. This is a car that I never thought I'd be able to drive. And when 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 you watch Top Gear and you and you see these amazing cars on on television programs and and things like that, I never expect to be able to drive those because I'm in touch with reality. I know that I have to make videos and write reviews and things like that and have people want to read or watch them, and eventually new opportunities come to pass. Thank you so much, guys, for letting me drive this car today. Yeah, it was amazing. So, if you're looking to spend about $248,000 on a car, I know the one for you. It's not a drop-top Phantom Coupe. It's not. It's a Merc. And it's loud. And it sounds fantastic. I, I wish I had more from you. I'm still trying to come to grips with the fact that I drove that car today. Uh, between that and the the R8 V10 that I that I drove last year, 
those are those are cars that man they're up there on a list that that's those are super cars like exotic cars like that's not just like hey do you want to drive my four doors around town for a week like i'm driving amazing machines i'm driving cars that athletes and celebrity celebrities and roy literally royalty drive and i'm a middle school teacher from the midwest so who knew thanks for watching uh it's all downhill from here there's not really going to be uh I, I don't know that we can top that car it might be a little bit before we drive something new so th thanks for watching i appreciate it Ho hopefully you enjoyed this um i know i'm awkward if you're new to my site or channel i apologize i can't really help it written reviews everymansauto.net twitter and instagram are at everymansauto like us on facebook you can do that through my site everymansauto.net there's a like button over there on the side check out gas2.org gas the number two dot org for diesel hybrid turbo electric vehicle articles and stuff this is amazing thanks for watching we'll see you next time